Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Diva. I have just felt like I have abandoned you guys, and I haven't posted a video or anything in such a long time. And I'm sick in the summer, and it sucks ass. Just FYI. And I'm laying here in my air-conditioned apartment, um, and so last night I had the most traumatic experience because I've lived in my apartment for maybe seven years now, and it's very comfortable here, and last night, I don't know where the fuck it came from, but there was a mouse in my fucking kitchen. A mouse. Like, a mouse. And, guess what? It scared the shit out of me. And I don't deal well with any kind of rodents or kind of anything. Anything. If it ain't paying rent, it don't belong in my apartment. Simple as that. Either it's gonna die or it's gonna kick the fuck out. So, I was like, fuck this. Went to Target this morning, bought, like, so many fucking traps. Like, not tra- well, I bought, like, I didn't know what works. I always see the little mouse traps that, like, snap little shits. And so I bought those, and I also bought these, like, sticky pad things that were, like, kind of interesting. I didn't know what they were. They're, like, they're, like, oversized, like, roach thingies. And I bought those, too. So, with the traps, you're supposed to bait them with peanut butter. So I baited it with peanut butter, I put them out, and, um, so I put the traps down, and I put, I'll put all of them, the sticky thingies and the traps, the little snapper ones one, and I put them down, and then I had, to, um, my little cousin's birthday's coming up, well, not my little, yeah, she's my little cousin, she is younger than I, um, and she was wants to take pictures for her birthday invitation. It's kind of like a sweet 16 type thing, but not really sweet 16. She's going to be like, I don't even know, 14, 13, I don't know, something like that. So I went to take pictures with her. I come back. All the peanut butter off the traps are gone. It's gone. It's like there's no peanut butter on any of the traps. The fucking little mouse ate the peanut butter off the traps without getting chopped up, without getting caught in the trap. Like, he fucking robbed the peanut butter off the traps. So that was a waste of... I mean, they were only, like, a dollar, two dollars, whatever. Like, there was four of them in a pack. So, like, I put all four of them out because I'm like, fuck that, I'm getting this mouse. So anyways. Um, so, yeah. The little creature ate the peanut butter and didn't set off the traps. So he got a nice little serving. The little pads got a mouse. It was a mouse. It wasn't a rat. It was a mouse. It was a little thing. And guess what? I'm very excited about the situation. And it was like totally like it didn't kill it. Like I thought it had poison in it so that like it killed it at the same time. But no, it's just like a big old sticker that the little mouse got stuck to and it's like I, ugh. I mean I am terrified of any, like I said a rat it, like anything that runs fast that's gonna move it's on and cracking I will jump I will scream I don't care so anyways it got caught on this sticky pad and it's like you know I didn't really want to have to like I mean I was uh, I was really ready for I didn't know how I was gonna get it out of my kitchen once they actually got caught like I didn't think that far ahead just because it was like um I just need that rat so I just, I didn't want it to, like, I didn't, and there was poison available, too, like, little food poison, whatever, so they eat it, and then they die somewhere, but you know what, I don't want it dying somewhere, and then, like, like, behind my refrigerator, or under my refrigerator, and then it being rotten and smelly, so I didn't want to just, like, do that, so I wanted to make sure I caught it, I knew where it was, but I really, again, I didn't think ahead as to how many get it out of the house once it is caught, because, um... I don't know why I bought the mouse traps because I probably would have fucking died if I would have saw like half a rat or half a mouse chilling there. I mean, I didn't know what it was at them. 
But anyways, so it's on this little sticky pad, and it's, like, totally alive still. Like, eh, it's screaming. Like, not screaming. I mean, I don't know if rats, mouse screams. But these, they're making this weird noise. Well, it was like, you know, like, help me. Or something, basically, in, in mouse. It was like, help me. And guess what? I was no in mood for him. He had all the peanut butter that I could offer him because he ate it off all the fucking mouse traps. And I was like, well, <laughs> he's a mouse and I'm not interested in dealing with him or trying to help him. So I'm like, fuck, I have to throw him away somehow. I have to try to put him in the garbage can. So I went to get him and like as soon as I got near it to move the pad, like the little sticky pad, like out of the area that I had put it, it starts going crazy, like moving and like it just getting it's getting stuck more and it's crazy. I'm like, well, you know, I can't really handle this. Like I'm not really I'm not interested in cruelty to animals, but I really didn't wanna I really didn't care. It was just, you know, it was a traumatic experience because I've lived here for seven years and never once have I ever seen a mouse or a rat or anything like that here. And this is the first time and I'm just like going crazy. I think it's the heat, like bringing all these little rodents or whatever, like into the building. I'm like, fucking great. I don't know. There's no, I, I do not put up with it. And so anyways, so I'm trying to move it into, like, a plastic bag so I can take it downstairs and throw it in the dumpster. And it's, like, screaming. So I just get a piece of, like, those funky ads that they send out and stick it over it and, like, put it down and, like, basically stick the paper on top of it into the little, like, it's like a sticky pad, like, so that it covers it, makes, like, a little, like, cover for it. Because I didn't want to see it or hear it. And it stood quiet. When I put the paper over it, it stood quiet. So that was good. Um, and so... That was it. I just, I, I would put rubber gloves on, like my the gloves I used to wash dishes and stuff. Um, because I didn't want to touch it. Like, I don't know. Like, ugh. Mm. I was afraid it was going to come loose and, like, bite me. That's really my, <laughs> that was my real fear. Like, honestly, like, especially it was screaming and, like, struggling. It was just crazy. So, anyways, I just put the little paper over it and put it in the garbage bag. And then I took it out and put it in the dumpster. And I was like, oh my god, it's going to be, like, going crazy in the bag. And it wasn't. It was being completely quiet. Like, I don't know if it died. Like, I didn't squash it or anything. It just, like... But hopefully the garbage man will come and take it away. And, like, I'm, like, homeless people are going to go through the dumpster and, like, find it or something. And, like, they better not set it free. I don't know how it works. Um, I hope that sticky stuff doesn't, like, dissolve or whatever. Because if he comes back, he's in for it. I'll tell you that. Or if his cousins come looking for him or something... Lord, it's on and cracking. So yeah, don't buy the fucking mouse traps with the peanut butter, or because they just eat that shit right off of them. I mean, they're only like I said, it was like two bucks or a dollar. I don't know what it were, like two bucks. I would say two bucks for like four of them, and but they just don't work. So it was a waste of two bucks, which is only two bucks. But they ate the fucking peanut butter. It, it ate. I'm gonna say it ate the peanut butter right off the little thingy. So, those don't work. Get the sticky ones. Uh, no, the trick was, I had to build, like, this little barricade. Like, I put the peanut butter in the corner, and I put the sticky pad diagonal into the corner so that it would have to go over the sticky pad to get to the peanut butter this time. And the pad is, like, it's, like, four or five inches wide. So, it wasn't, like, going to jump over it. It would have to walk, walk across it. So, you have to, like, set it up to, like, make sure it sticks on it. But yeah, totally caught the mouse. I was hoping, like, I could find a box one, like, a non-kill or non, like, you know, disabling one. Um, but they didn't have them at Target. Like, at Target, they only had very, they had, like, the snappers, the pad, those sticky pads, and then, like, the poison. But again, I didn't want the rat, like, the, the, the rat, the mouse dying in the wall or something and then, like, having to tear the wall down to get that stank-ass mouse out of the wall. So I just got the sticky ones because I knew I would be able to, like, to make sure it was in one place once it died. Oh, yeah, and, like, only half of the body got caught on it. So, like, the pad really wasn't where I had left it. It was, like, in another part of my kitchen because I think the, like, the, the legs, the front hind, the front legs of it weren't on completely on the pad. They were, like, it was, like, crawling with the, with its ass and its tail stuck on the, um, on the, um, pad. So that was kind of kind of scary too because that's what that's so that's what made me think that it's going to come off and jump on me or something um because it was just like really not happy about being stuck on that bed um 
So yeah, that was my excitement for the day. And this, I've talked about, I've been on this for 90 minutes talking about a mouse. Fun.